Good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. Or should I say sidechain? <laughs> So today's featured project is Elastos. Last week we understood how the Bitcoin blockchain connects to and is merge mined with the Elastos main chain. Today we are going to move one level up and understand the concept of sidechains and how they will allow Elastos and the dApps to function fluidly with nearly unlimited scalability. So. To begin, we need to understand the concept of sidechains. Adam Black and Greg Maxwell, two prominent Bitcoin Core devs, published the first sidechain white paper in October of 2014. It proposed the technique of two-way pegs to solve the problem of asset transfers between two chains. A two-way peg allows the transfer of Bitcoins from a main chain blockchain to a secondary blockchain and vice versa. The transfer is in fact an illusion. Tokens are not transferred, but temporarily locked on the main chain, while the same amount of equivalent tokens are unlocked on a secondary blockchain. The original tokens on the main chain can be unlocked when the equivalent amount of tokens on the secondary blockchain are locked once again. With sidechains and two-way pegs, each blockchain must understand the consensus system of the other blockchain and can therefore automatically release tokens when given proof of the lock transaction using Simplified Payment Verification, or SPVs. SPVs were first described in Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper, and they allow a lightweight client to verify that a transaction is included in the Bitcoin blockchain, and you don't need to download the entire blockchain. The chain only needs to keep a copy of the block header of the longest proof of work chain, and then obtain the Merkle branch linking its transaction. Thus, it can see that the network nodes have accepted it. Although, there is a problem with this structure for Elastos. Elastos has a one to many relationship between the main chain and the side chains. With the principle of the symmetrical SPV based mutual verification, the main chain and the side chain needs to save each other's block header information. It is not a problem if just the side chain saves the main chain's block header. However, it is crucial that the Lastos main chain does not save all of the side chain's block header information. That is why Elastos is adopting entirely new mechanisms to ensure the transfer of funds in both directions between the main chain and the side chains. So first we will understand transfers from the main chain to the side chains. These transfers are implemented based on the simplified payment verification. The SPV module of the main chain is integrated on the side chain and it is used to synchronize the main chain block while also facilitating transfers from the main chain to the side chains. The process goes like this. First, a user transfers n number of tokens from a main chain address, capital U, to the representative side chain address, capital S, which is located on the main chain through a wallet. The sender's address from the side chain which we will call lowercase u, is attached to the transaction, which we will label transaction 1. Second, the main chain miner node packages transaction 1 and successfully generates a block. Third, after a sufficient number of confirmation, the node of the arbitrator on duty, which we will discuss later, obtains the main chain transfer transaction through its SPV module. This node then generates transaction 2, which consists of the SPV proof path and transaction 1, which includes the transfer address lowercase u. The number of tokens sent is equal to the transaction 1's capital U to capital S transfer number. Fourth, the node of the arbitrator on duty sends transaction 2 to the sidechain node. Fifth. The sidechain packages transaction 2 and generates a block. 6. After waiting for sufficient confirmations, the user will see in their wallet on the sidechain address has accepted n number of S tokens into their account. Now, here is where things get a bit complicated. 
As you can see from this picture of transfers from the main chain to the side chain of elastose, it looks very similar to transfers with side chains created by Adam Black and Greg Mac Maxwell. But with original Bitcoin side chains, the process of sending tokens from the side chain back to the main chain follows the same process. With Elastos, it's different because of that one to many relationship. With Elastos, transfers from the side chain to the main chain are guaranteed by the main chain arbitrator mechanism. The process goes as follows. First, a user sends a request from the wallet on the side chain from address lowercase u to withdraw m number of s tokens. Attached to the transaction is their address uppercase u on the main chain. This transaction is going to be known as transaction three. Second, the transaction is sent to the sidechain and a sidechain miner node packages the transaction and generates a block. Third, after a sufficient number of confirmations, the node of the arbitrator on duty gets transaction three from its own sidechain node. Fourth, the node of the arbitrator on duty constructs a main chain transaction 4 based on transaction 3. Transaction 4 transfers m number of tokens from address capital S to address capital U. After that, the arbitrator node on duty broadcasts this transaction to all arbitrator nodes for signature. Fifth, once the arbitrator on duty node receives over two-thirds of the arbitrator's signatures, it submits transaction 4 to the main chain with all the received signatures. 6. A minor node generates a block on the main chain which includes transaction 4. Finally, after waiting for a sufficient number of confirmations, the user will see their main chain address, capital U, has accepted M number of tokens in their wallet account. The entire transfer process from the main chain to the side chain and vice versa involves what makes Elasto's side chain so special, the arbitrator. During the main chain to side chain transfer process, the role of the arbitrator is to generate and facilitate the transfer of the transaction without participating in the signatures. On the contrary, during the side chain to the main chain transfer process, the arbitrator must not only generate and transfer the transaction, but also sign the transaction. This allows the withdrawal transaction on the main chain, thus transferring from the sidechain account to the main chain account, and to be verified by the main chain nodes. Arbitrators are elected by voting on the Elastos main chain and rotate regularly. The duty of the arbitrator is to provide enough computing and network resources to run at least one main chain node and n number of nodes co corresponding to n number of sidechains. Arbitrator nodes will earn revenues from the transaction fees obtained for packaging sidechain blocks. So now that we know the basics of how assets are transferred from main chains to sidechains, let's look at the different types of sidechains Elastos has begun to construct. The first, which is already completed, is the proof of work based sidechain. These sidechains use the merge mining method with the Elastos main chain to obtain computing power from the Bitcoin miners. The main chain's current arbitrator on duty acts as the miner. They package the transaction from the side chain and generate the mining transaction, which is then packaged on the main chain. All arbitrator nodes go through an arbitrator election cycle, where they perform the duties of the arbitrator on duty in turn. The rotation switch is triggered by the generation of a side chain block. Through merge mining with the Bitcoin blockchain, Proof of power is then submitted back to the ELA main chain, which is then returned back to the arbitrator, who submits it back to the sidechain, where any sidechain full node can verify the validity of the block in accordance with the proof of power. In this model, transaction fees from the sidechains are allocated to the arbitrators, who are generating the mining transactions on the main chain. The mining transaction that is placed on the main chain will also have to pay a miner's fee, which is paid to the Bitcoin miners for providing the real computing power. This all ensures the safety of the sidechains, as the transaction history of the sidechain is secured through the main chain merge mining computing power. The second sidechain, which is being built as I speak, is the delegated proof of stake sidechain which is still in the concept stage. 
With this, the arbitrator of the main chain represents the agent role of DPoS consensus on the side chain. Each node on the side chain can obtain the main chain's voting info through the attached SPV module, thus allowing for consensus on the legality of the arbitrator. With the concept of sidechains created by Adam and Greg, these sidechains do not have their own tokens with their own functions. With the last host in the smart economy, there needs to be chains with their own tokens and independent economic ecosystems. These type of chains are the third type and they are called friend chains. The support for friend chains is divided into a two stage process. The first stage is the cross chain atomic transfers between the friend chain and the last host main chain. This is a peer-to-peer -peer transaction, and it requires the parties to negotiate exchange rates and create mutual atomic exchange transactions. The second stage will be based on decentralized exchanges and will support the free exchange from the main chain and the friend chain, but this is still being built and its implementation is down the road. So the first phase of atomic trading peer-to-peer -peer, is achieved by the means of a hash lock. Let's see how this works now. Assume there is friend chain F with its own token called F token. Alice and Bob need to exchange ELA and F token between chains. Alice has addresses EA and FA on the Elastos and friend chain, and Bob has addresses EB and FB respectively. The market exchange rate is 1 ELA to 10 F token. Alice wants to exchange 10 ELA 400 F tokens with Bob. First, Alice initiates a transfer transaction from EA to FA on the Elastos main chain for 10 ELA. The unlock condition for this transaction is the signature generated by EB's private key along with the additional hash lock. Alice generates a random number X which gets hashed and is placed in the transaction. Bob needs to submit X to unlock the hash lock. Second, Bob sees transaction 1 on the Elastos main chain and constructs transaction 2 on the friend chain to transfer 100 F tokens from FB to FA. The unlock condition for this transaction is a signature generated by FA's private key along with the hash lock which is also the random hash number. Third, Alice provides a transaction 2 signature on the friend chain along with the random number X to unlock transaction 2, transferring 100 F tokens to their own separate address on the friend chain. Fourth, Bob sees transaction 2 is unlocked and gets a random number X. Bob then signs transaction 1 with EB's private key and provides a random number X to unlock transaction 1, which transfers 10 ELAs to his own separate address on the Elastos main chain. And that is it. The transfer has happened. Well, viewers, we have moved up a level of the Elastos architecture. Now we understand side chains and the process of asset transfer across chains. Currently, developers can use the proof of work sidechain to easily build a personal sidechain to develop decentralized applications. Friend chains will allow these dApps to tokenize and create their own economic ecosystems. The DPoS sidechain will allow system governance while reducing the mining process, allowing for faster block generation and speed. And eventually, we could see sidechains with all types of consensus, proof of stake, DBFT, PBFT, and even proof of storage. Well, viewers, thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.